Hello and welcome to this learning video. In this learning video, we are going to start a topic named as inverse of a matrix by partitioning method. So without wasting much of our time, let us see what this uh, topic is all about. Okay, so here in this topic, we will be having uh, a matrix for the sake of our convenience. I have taken two by uh, three by three matrix. But in the uh, when we solve the problems, we will be having problems of the type two, uh, three by three matrix. Also, a matrix of order four by four will be there. Uh, whose inverse we have to find out with the help of this partitioning method. Okay. So as you all know that whenever we have to find out the inverse of a matrix, so the matrix should be a non-singular, meaning thereby its determinant should be not equal to zero. So as you can see, I have considered a general matrix of three by three. And uh, then if it's a determinant is not equal to zero, then a inverse exists. Okay, that is the basic requirement for getting the inverse. Now, once you are uh, the determinant of the given matrix is non zero, then we can uh, partition this matrix. Uh, we can partition this uh, matrix in different ways. Okay, so I have a partition it like this. Okay, so I have partitioned this like uh, 2 by 2, then uh, 2 by 1, then 1 by 2, and then 1 by 1. Okay, and calling this partition after this partition, I am saying this to be my P, this is to be Q, this is to be R, and this is to be S that I have already written. Now, whenever you are making the partition, make sure that uh, at the time of the partition, the matrix P that you are taking should be a non-singular matrix. Like we have taken this P to be A11, A12, A21, A22. Okay. So we have to partition in such a way that the very first matrix that is P that we are getting should be non-zero. Okay. Now that is one thing. Now as you all know that if you have a matrix A then and it is it, it's non-singular matrix so its inverse must exist so I'm letting this uh, inverse of a matrix as uh, X, Y, Z and W okay now uh, this is the basic result now we have to find out the inverse of a matrix meaning thereby to find out the inverse of a matrix I need to find out X, Y, Z and W and for this I'm using the basic idea about this uh, matrix that is if you have matrix a and if you multiply that matrix by its inverse you will get it you will get the identity so what is my a my a is this what is my a inverse my a inverse is this and this is my identity matrix okay now uh, once you are getting this uh, identity matrix uh, here don't write one one because this is i'm taking this is for the partition matrix here this P, Q, R, S, X, Y, Z, W all represent matrices, not numbers. Okay, so that's why you have to write, uh, that's why I have written I, 0, 0, I. Okay, so this I corresponds to 2 by 2 matrix, 2 by 2 identity matrix. This I corresponds to 1 by 1 identity matrix. Okay, now solving this. First row, first column, equation 1. First row, second column, equation 2. First row, sorry, second row, first column, equation 3. And second row, second column is equation number 4. Okay. And we also know that A inverse, A into A inverse is equal to I. Is same as A inverse into A is also equal to I. So with the help of this, I am again getting 4 more step, uh, 4 more set of equations. So now I am having... 4 and 4, 8 equations and I have to make use of these 8 equations to get the values of x, y, z, w. Once I will be getting the values of x, y, z, w, I have to put it in the A inverse to get the desired result. Okay. Now, uh, now we have number of equations 8 and how many unknowns? 4. So, I can use equation 1 to 8 to get the uh, x, y, z and w. Okay. So, four equations are enough to get the values of this uh, x, y, z and w. So, what I am going to do here is uh, I am going to 
what I am going to do here is I will take out of these eight four equations to get the values of okay so let me start with equation number let me just give me a moment here So now I am having this eight uh, equations. So I am using four equations. So I can write here selecting selecting four equations four equations from from equation one to equation eight. Okay, to get the values of to get to get the values of what x y z and w so to get the values of this what i am going to make use of i am going to make use of equation 2 for the sake of simple uh, this uh, calculations then i will be taking equation 4 uh, then equation 5 i will take and equation 7 okay so i am going to make use of these four equations so from equation 2, from 2 we have, so what we have from equation number 2, we have this Py, we have this Py plus Qw is equal to 0. Okay, now I am going to pre-multiply this equation by P inverse. As P is non-singular, we have to partition in such a way that this P should be non-singular. So I can, non-singular means determinant not equal to 0 inverse exists so I can multiply this so you can write here pre multiply pre multiply by p inverse we get so what I will be getting p inverse into p by is equal to p inverse q w is equal to 0 okay now here as you can see p into p inverse is identity so this is y you can write i y plus p inverse q w is equal to 0 identity into any matrix any matrix so here you will be getting y is equal to minus p inverse q w okay minus p inverse q w fine i can give this to be equation number 9 okay is it clear now now I have to uh, get uh, the equation number four so I am making use of this equation number four so what is equation four this ry plus sw from equation 4 we have ry plus sw is equal to identity is it ry plus sw is equal to identity now we have the value of y so you can just substitute over here r what is y y is this minus p inverse qw plus s w is equal to identity okay now solving this will be getting minus r p inverse q w plus s w is equal to identity right now to represent this uh, matrix r p inverse i am taking another arbitrary matrix say t okay so i will write uh, take or you can write put so put or take rp inverse is equal to t rp inverse is equal to t if you are taking it say this is to be number 10 okay so what i will be getting i will be getting it uh, to be minus t qw plus sw is equal to i okay 
you can certainly take w common from here the moment you take w common from here it would be something like this minus tq plus minus tq plus uh, s operating on w is equal to identity right so what i can write here is w that is w is equal to take it to the here if you take it to, to here so it is s my t s minus tq right s minus tq inverse s minus tq so it would be like identity upon this matrix and then take it to the numerator so this is inverse this is my w say this is to be equation number 11 okay now I'm, I have to make use of this 5 and 7. So let me start with equation number 7 first. Okay. So from, from equation 7, we have, so what we have from equation number 7, the Zp, Zp plus Wr is equal to 0. That is what we have. Okay. Now, what I am going to do here is I will multiply it by P inverse post multiply to this equation. So, I can write here post multiply by P inverse we get. So, what we will be getting? Z P P inverse plus W R p inverse is equal to 0. Now again making use of the identity p into p inverse is uh, identity. Okay. So z into identity is z. Right. So what you will be getting? You will be getting z plus if you want I can write one more step z i plus w. What is r p inverse? r p inverse is this from equation 10 p. So I can write W T is equal to 0. Identity into any matrix is any matrix. So Z is equal to minus W T. Say this is to be equation number 12. Okay. Now at last I am going to make use of this equation 5 to get the value of X. Okay. So what is my equation 5? My equation 5 is xp from equation 5. We have, what was that? xp plus yr is equal to i. Xp, xp plus yr is equal to identity. Okay. Now again you can see here it is p. Now you may be wondering why we are always multiplying, pre-multiplying, post-multiplied by matrix P because we have partitioned the given matrix in such a way that the first matrix that is P should be non-zero, means non-zero in the sense of determinant, okay, means it should be a non-singular matrix, okay, that's why we are uh, post-multiplying and pre-multiplied by P inverse. In the first, we have pre-multiplied, in the third and in the fourth we are going to multiply post -pay. so multiply you can write post multiply by p inverse we get so what we get x p p inverse plus y r p inverse is equal to i okay so this p p inverse get cancelled so we remain with x x into i x y what is r p r p inverse is t so this is t is equal to identity that is x is equal to minus of y t okay so here here we also have to multiply i into P inverse, yeah. So this is P inverse, correct. So this is X is equal to P inverse. Now taking this Y T to here minus Y times T. Say this is to be equation number 30. 
okay so you can see uh, we have started with the given matrix then we have partitioned it after partitioning of the matrix what we have done we we have uh, we have used a into a inverse equal to i and uh, a inverse into a equal to identity and then we get eight different equations and we have only four unknowns namely x y z and w so in this way we have just uh, derived for uh, the results for x y z w now write down the write down the inverse therefore the required therefore the required inverse is a inverse is equal to what is it x y z and w okay so you just have to substitute these values whatever you are getting here is this to get the required inverse okay so i hope this is clear to you and in the very next learning video i will be giving you a gist of this uh, uh, theoretical part that we have taken till now and uh, i will be starting with the working rule i will summarize this and will give you in the very next learning video uh, a working rule to solve problem on this topic that would be very handy in solving the problems so i hope whatever i have discussed in this learning video are gettable to you and uh, make most of it because uh, if the basics are strong you can easily do uh, the good things as far as the um, computation is concerned okay so thank you for watching this learning video and happy learning thank you